<coughs> wow, fail boat. Yeah. Welcome back to GDP. Nah. What? You are such a good I, am I can't yeah. even begin to tell you how good of a coach. I you wanna are. go that way. So we're playing more uh. of the flame in the flood. Yeah. Ooh, was that a, a thing that I missed? Or? It was a thing that I missed. So that's that's the one mystery that I still have no idea about uh, this game. Is if we can So much I'm missing. Well, I don't think you're gonna miss anything there. I uh, know, I already missed it. <laughs> Just go over. Just but yeah, we, we don't know if no. there are any other, like, living uh, humans, right? Like, uh, I, I don't think so far, I mean, I've seen parts in their video where they show other living humans, oh, really? but it doesn't happen often. Oh, okay. Uh, so in case you're wondering why I suck at this, uh, number one, it's because I suck at this. But it's also intentionally hard, right? Yeah, it, it, uh, you go, you're, you flow in a direction, and these little, the, the line, the wave lines that you can actually see are kind of the current. Are kind, yeah, exactly. Or so you'll current, end up kind of, but you'll end up like being forced in one direction or another. I mean, that makes sense, right? I, I feel like anybody that's played any game that involves river mechanics at all, even even like mini games, right? Like we've all played games like, well, maybe not everyone's played games like Breath of Fire three, but there is even river mechanics in that. Like yeah, yeah there was. Yeah, man. All right, so it's let me know where these locations are. And this one's straight ahead. This is ours. I'm going to dock here. So, it's going to happen. So it looks okay, really so small, those, right? And those represent docking points. Mm -hmm. Does it ever show you an icon for non-docking points? Um, uh, When you get really close, it'll show you loot. Oh, okay. It is light. It is dark. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Because oh, this you... is terrifying. I've never run across Ooh. any animals or anything, so I don't know. Oh, inventory. Yeah, full. you don't I know how to hunt yet, K. do you? Not a clue. <laughs> All right, what do I feel like I don't need immediately? I probably don't need this. Uh... Probably don't need sapling? the charcoal right away. No, I'd say that the sapling is probably less useful. Yes, yeah, most likely. Well, what are you going to do with it? Uh, no, you can, like, make food and crap out of things like this. But that's fine. But I'm gonna move it to, to ASAP. A, you need to be able to start a fire, which you'll use charcoal for. Yeah, but you you can grab it back from... Uh, by the way, ASAP is a dog, right? You're putting it in the backpack of the dog. Um, oh, rain's coming. Okay, what does that mean? As rain gets closer, seek shelter, wait for it to pass, get wet, blah, 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 kind of... Blah. Wait for the rain to pass during campfire, rain will extinguish flames, so, so not basically, cool. get shelter or you're gonna get sick. New discovery, insulated jacket. Schematic added to the journal. Oh, you discovered a bunch of schematics. Was that just from opening those crates? Probably, because I got enough items to... Oh. I don't know how long it's going to rain Wait, for. Wait, are you... Oh, you're resting inside the yeah. bus? Yeah. Alright, we're going to rest I was going to say, hours. are you just resting out in the open? Yes. I didn't realize that the option occurred <laughs> while you were against the... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, no, we're good. Alright, it's only barely raining. I can deal with that. It's still... Oh, it is. I hope I can deal with that. Yeah, I guess we'll find out one way or another. Oh, got some flint. All right, cool. Okay, so, so now, what were you going to say? No, no, say what you're going to say. I'll, I'll, this question can be asked at any point. So I can start making some stuff here. Um, do I have any stitching kits already? Because you can make some clothes and stuff with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you're just going to make better clothes? Mm-hmm. It keeps me warmer. And more immune to rain and, and stuffs. Now, uh, does it automatically equip it, or is it treated as a separate object it, in your inventory? It immediately goes into my inventory. Bam. Okay, so do you think that if you get, like, a new piece of clothing, um, do you think it just, like, upgrades your existing clothing, or do you think it, it'll, like, replace your clothing? I, okay, so it kind of... I don't know if it always replaces it, but right now it does. See, I'm wearing light boots. In order to make insulated boots, I need the light boots that I'm wearing, plus these cattails oh. and stitching kits. So and it kind of goes for the same. with yeah. the addition of other items. I kind of like that because it's like... This is really common in a lot of sandbox, sandbox games, mm -hmm. but you'll, you'll get these items in... I mean, Minecraft is a great example, right? You build this, like, wooden armor, right? And then you get oh. the iron armor... And as soon as you wear, put on the iron armor, then you have this wooden armor. What are you going to do with it? Nothing. <laughs> Useless. You're going to throw it, it away, sell it maybe. And, and in a game like this, where it's like, you're not going to sell it. You're not going to trade it. You can't even break it back down into other components. What are you going to do with it? 
So I, I really hope they stay consistent and they make it kind of like this cascading sort of upgrade system. That would be nice, although there are some arguments people have against um, like just cascading things because it, it feels weird sometimes because that's not always how the world works. Right. But in this regard, I think upgrading boots to a different type of boot, that's fine. In case you haven't noticed, by the way, the dogs always tell me when something's around and I missed it, which is really nice because you may not typically look as like a twig coming out of the ground as a resource you could use. And yeah, nothing glows. Fair. They don't have to get, because they have the dog, they don't have to get away with any of that, like, items glow so you know that you can take them. I mean, they kind oh, of show two you... two stitching kits? Oh, I'm in the money. They, I didn't have to make that other one. They at least show you kind of like, they give you that little, like, little wavy thing beneath the crates where it's mm. like, hey, this is a lootable object. Um, I need more cats. But stuff. it's not, it isn't, like, in your face, like, hey, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. Like most games, like Skyrim, right? Like yes. every, everything. Like obviously, just really annoying too. Uh, okay. I guess Skyrim isn't the worst, but other Bethesda games have been like that. A lot. I mean, a lot of games do that. And I, it's just because it's hard to notice things that you can interact with sometimes. You know, I think like back in the early, early days of 3D game design, it was a lot more important because aesthetically. I don't think this is good water. It's well water. I mean, oh, it's, it is well it's ground, water. It's ground water. I couldn't water. even tell. Yeah, that's, it's, a, it's a pump. All right, so I think it's safe to drink, so I'm going to do that, and f I've never seen a... Right. I mean, Boom. it'll say ah, if it's yeah. clean water, right? Mm, it didn't. Oh. Okay, so explain some of the UI to me. So obviously the, the two left ones is hunger and water, right? Yes. And we've got temperature and rest, but they are, are they red? They look kind of red. The, the red one is your body temperature, and the, the far right one is orange, and that is your, um, how tired you are. So, more flint. they didn't, mm. did they, did they become more red, or are they just, like, draining as, as, like, they, they drain as time goes along. So, oh, okay. they're, this, they're this, all full right now, except for my hunger. I need to eat something. Yeah, this UI kind of breaks being very mean to scout. A little bit better. Although, I will say that font is tiny. Yeah, I mean, we're also always playing on a far uh, computer or TV, but normally we can read it to some yeah, degree. Yeah, I mean, it, it still is only, what, 720p, so it should be, like, Do I need to make scaled up a little bit, in my opinion. But uh, you get the gist, anyway, at least. I need a braid cord. Uh, hopefully that does not involve a revolves cattail. All right, well, I can make one. I so still what, need to find three more, and I can make that shirt. Oh, okay. So, boom, I can make the stone knife now because nice. I made the braided cord. I found two flint over time. Uh, I don't know exactly what you do with the knife because I haven't got that far yet. But um, I do know now that I have the knife, I'm one step closer to completing that one quest that we got. If you remember, Which this is guy. making uh, the hammer? Uh, make a knife. Well, actually, it says make a stone knife and make a stone hammer. Mm -hmm. But you need a stone knife to make a stone hammer. It's another linear item um that makes so sense. which is pretty cool so uh i know i have that jazz and i don't know it's on my tool belt basic tool functional for making simple traps skin and animals make make with flint which is abundant uh, at camos camps i think camps. i am obviously I blind the, i think okay. the key was a little short so it was a little hard that's to read. fair camos is making so i'm just gonna <laughs> camos <fun>. yeah <laughs> There are a lot of things in the environment you think you would be able to react with, and you're not. L like that um, metal cylinder? Yeah, it looked like a barrel or something like that. All right, okay, come on. I need you to work with me here. Yeah, you would think at least it would be like, this is empty. Unless, well, I don't know. Would Boom. You, would, do you think it would Got be me better? Some rags. Do you think it would be better to just not give okay. you the option to interact with it, or would it be better to show you that this has nothing in it? Um. Nah, I would Bethesda's rather. I'd probably rather them too. do it this way, honestly. Okay, come on. I need you to. It's at get least there. less distracting, right? Like, I don't know how much of Skyrim you've played, but they tell you, or even the new Fallout, um, they tell you when something that you'd normally be able to loot from is empty. They just straight up tell you in the UI, so you don't even have to so go into it. You don't have to, to bother. It. Oh, um, you were talking about bayous and stuff. Look at this. In the bayou. I hate you so much. Oh, don't drink the swamp water. It'll give you the stomach terrible. tingles. The... 
He's not good. I think they're leeches. Oh, don't. Oh, leeches. <laughs> gross me out so much. Uh, I'm sorry if I've offended anyone from southern North America. <laughs> Just love the bayou. The bayou. It's, it's, it's terrible. I'm offended. Does that count? No. Right. Uh, I mean, you were born in Florida, so I mean, you you under, you get you get my jive, right? <laughs> my, my bayou jive. As wrong as you are, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh man, I got me some alcohol. Whoa! That's uh, good for uh, bandage, torch. cleaning wounds, yeah? My inventory is full, I can't take this dandelion. If you have dandelion and alcohol, you can make dandelion tea. I, or just I, eat the dandelion. Or, I need to eat. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Alright, this has... N what if I eat these rags? You know you can actually eat dandelions? They are an edible food. Yeah, I mean, people... They're a weed, but... People make, uh, oh, I can eat these grubs. Don't bite, don't, mm, they don't bite none. Nature's perfect snack. All Nature's right. perfect snack. They're abundant. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, man, dandelions taste kind of like garlic. It's kind of weird. That is weird. I'm not, I, like, I know that there's dandelion tea, but I've never had it before. What do I do with this garlic? Imagine dandelion tea would be kind I of like... Cook a more garlicky, gingery tea, but like really subtle. Like it's not as much as a, of a kick, you know. What'd you do? I got a raft schematic. Ooh! Help you build up the parts you need to improve. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna put you over there because I definitely don't need you right now. I wonder and what then... the schematics are. Are are like are they? It, it's not like a blueprint that's just sitting around, right? I don't know because like normally. Uh, it tells you when you found. Give me some mulberries. Inventory full. Uh, normally, it tells you uh, when you discover, like, it, like you have all the schematics down, I guess, already, and it's just finding the items reminds you that you can make those things. Oh, that's fair. Uh, come you on. Should, you... I wish that it would automatically put the things from there into a sub. -spec. Yeah, into a sub bag. Can you, do you have a storage in the raft, or is that something that you think you need to upgrade on the raft? Um, it says that you can only access that while you're at the raft, but you can't go to your menu while you're on the raft, so I imagine I have to do it from a dock? It, it does say dock in that, that inventory menu. Oh. So you should doing? probably dump a bunch of stuff in there, but you should do that in the next episode. I suppose I could do that, or I could keep playing and make these suckers watch us oh, forever. Man. Only sleep, I can't go. Oh. Well, there's an item here. Yeah, I'm so smart. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, question of the day. I want to ask about um, the what was it? The uh, the looting, the looting interfaces. Um, ah. I guess we could be as specific as saying, like, do you guys think that they should pull a Bethesda Tiny cuts. and just have like a, a, a UI display saying, like, oh, this thing is empty, right? On everything that looks like it should be interactable. Um, or maybe should they just make more things interactable, like that the barrel or cylinder or whatever it was? Um, or do you think that it's good the way it is? Do you think that if they add those UI components, would it make the game kind of feel cluttered? That's a good question. Yeah. Especially for a survival game where there's so much stuff to inter like to touch and interact with. Right. I feel like that was a difficult thing to balance too, because you want to have enough stuff to make it feel like it's a full world, but at the same time you don't want to like overload the player with interactable things. It's going to take too much time, um, and that's why people put you know 200 hours into Bethesda games. You gotta loot everything. Everything. <laughs> Water with the Bethesda. 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 I'm taking this yuka. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote if you want to see more of the Flame in the Flood. And uh, vote on anything else you want us to play. Or even make requests. And, uh... I request more dandelions. <laughs> also... If you want to see some behind the scenes videos or like goofy little uh, snippets, check out our Facebook page because we've been putting a lot of goofy stuff up there. So, uh. We have? Mostly making fun of you. <laughs> Whatever. Bye, y'all. See y'all later. Bye.